So autumn is a popular time for reseeding when demand for grazed grass is, is reducing on farm and we also have plenty of heat in the soil and there's plenty of moisture around to get good germination and good establishment. But research from our uh, on-farm grazing trials uh, have shown that the timing of, of this autumn reseeding is, is pretty crucial. So for example we saw in, in reseeds that were done in August they produced a ton more, grow a ton more grass the following spring um, than, than those reseeds carried out in September. So this one ton I suppose it's not, it's not insignificant. Uh, you're producing a ton of grass the following spring in a time when, when grass demand is high from, from cows um, and it's also a time when, when grass quality is, is probably at its best in the spring with new grass. This extra ton might not sound like much but especially in the springtime it could be costing farmers up to 250 euro per hectare per year at a time when cows are at peak production, grass is supposed to be at its, at its best quality, you need to have every, every kilo of grass available uh, and ready to be utilised by the cows. Reseeding is one of the key steps that farmers can take to maximise production and, and profitability. Uh, the main benefits of reseeding I suppose is in the, the amount of grass produced, so we see a big increase in, in the tonnes produced per year with new reseeds, but we also see an increase in the amount of grass produced in the shoulders a year, so in spring and autumn when it's potentially more valuable. Um, it allows us to try and extend the grazing season. Um, we also see an increase in, in, in the quality of new grass sown, um, which all leads into, the, into a potential increase in, in the amount of grass that we utilise on farm. And the more grass that we can utilise through grazing uh, the more profitable the system will be. In selecting a grass mixture for, for grazing ground it's important to select mixtures that have a high inclusion of, of five star grazing varieties and I suppose DLF 4N Grazer and DLF Grazer are two, mix two of our most popular mixtures. Uh, they contain the five star varieties then on an aspect. They also have Nishoda which is an extremely promising variety based on our on-farm trials and from far farmer feedback and uh, in, the likes of, in DLF Grazer uh, we also have Bowie which is the latest heading deployed uh, on, on the pasture profit index. So one one of the ways of increasing the, the utilisation of a grass mixture is by increasing the proportion of tetraploids and a lot of the research uh, done independently and done by ourselves here at DLF are showing that tetraploid varieties definitely graze out better and have better rates of utilisation than diploid varieties. So in the likes of 4N Grazer we have um, an all tetraploid mix and then in DLF Grazer we have a, a very high proportion of tetraploids. Some farmers may worry that using an all tetraploid or a high tetraploid mixture might lead to an open sward but uh, DLF have, have what's called what we call um, next gen tetraploids, uh, the likes of Nishota and Xenon. These are tetraploids that um, maintain the quality and the grazeability of, of traditional tetraploids but they, they look more like diploids so they've got a narrow leaf, they've got a much higher um, ground cover than your traditional tetraploids um, and we see this in, in the pasture profit index in their, in their ground score rating where their, where their scores are above 6 which is, which is in, the, in the category of, of most diploids really. So if you're planning on carrying out some reseeding this autumn and would like to know more about DLF's mixtures and varieties then contact the team here at DLF or your local merchant.